My name is Dan Flanick from Tech Clean. I'm going to show you the proper way to service our ABW series filters. The first thing you want to do is we're going to do one filter at a time. So we want to isolate the filter. And the way we're going to isolate the filter is we're going to shut the outlet valve first. And then we're going to come shut the inlet valve. The reason we want to do it in that sequence is we don't want to put any backflow through the outlet of the filter because you can crush the screen. Once the valves are isolated, now we need to relieve the pressure. The easiest way to relieve the pressure on the filters is to put it through a back flush so it will relieve the pressure. And all you need to do is go over on the controller and push the manual start button. So what we did now is we pushed the manual flush button on the filters. With the valves isolated, we watched the pressure go from 60 to zero. And we want to make sure there's zero pressure there so that when we open up the cover, no one gets hurt. So on the gauge, you can see it's zero and it's valved out. Both gauges are at zero. Now we're ready to correctly open the filter up and perform a service on it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen all the nuts on the end cover and pop the cover back so the water that's in the filter can escape. It's a three quarter inch wrench to remove the nuts. What I do is once all the nuts are loose, I take them by finger to the end. So that you can pop the cap back without getting wet. Let the water drain down. Once the water is drained down, we're going to go around to the back and take the piston off. Okay, so once the filter is draining down, what you want to do is come back here and this hose is on a push fitting. You just push it and the hose pulls out. Then we're going to slide the cover off and we're going to remove these half inch nuts so that we can drop the piston off the filter. Once the nuts are all removed, all you do is grab the piston and it slides right out. So once the piston's off, the water's pretty much drained out. Go ahead and take your nuts off. Once all the nuts are off the cover, just go ahead and slide the cover out. This filter has the core screen in it. Typically with city water, they don't use the core screen. It just pops right out. So if you look in here, this is the dirt collector with the screen. And what we want to do is we want to take that dirt collector out with the screen. So now we're going to go back to the other side and we're going to open up the, what they call the maintenance port, which clearly shows in the manual. You're going to come up to this end first and push this all the way back because there's a lower bearing holding in the hydraulic motor and we have to take the hydraulic motor out in order to pull the whole assembly out. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open up the maintenance port so we can get to the hydraulic motor to pull that out so we can pull the dirt collector out with the screen. Okay, so once you have all the bolts out, just take off the cover with the gasket and you can set that on the floor. Then you reach your hand in here and you can feel The hydraulic motor, which I'll show you right here. That's the hydraulic motor. So we need to take this bolt off to be able to slide that out. So what you do is you push it all the way to the end. So now what you're going to do is you're going to remove the lower bearing. You're going to put a wrench, loosen that. Once it's loose, it comes out fairly simple. This is the lower bearing. Now with that out, the hydraulic motor will come right out. 
And you'll see on reassembly, it's, you can't put it back in wrong because if you put the hydraulic motor like this, it's going to come out. It has to go back in so that the pin sits in there. Now we're ready to go around front and pull the whole assembly out. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and pull the whole assembly out. There's only two O-rings that hold the whole assembly in. So what you do is you reach in here and you grab the bar and you give a good yank. And now the whole assembly will come out. Because the screen is 10 micron, water sits in there because it needs water to push through. So I'll slide it out if you want to grab the other end. Uh, there you go. We'll set it right here and go ahead and pull that piece all the way out. Nice and easy. So these are the suction nozzles where it actually sucks the dirt off the screen. And what we want to check here is to make sure that this bar is okay, which it looks good. And on the other end here, the scratches are normal. You want to make sure there's no groove cut, which there's not. So this dirt collector is fine. On the screen, what you want to look on the inside, and I'll flip it over. Can you hold that? To make sure that none of the screen is tore off. Everything looks good. This is one O ring here, and the other O ring is right here. They're both the same O ring. So they switch them around. Every six months when you pull this, you just want to make sure that these are good, that they're not stretched where they're flopping. Um, and this is what we call an upper bearing. You want to make sure that this bearing is round, not oval. So you want to check here, the shaft, the upper bearing, and the lower bearing. All that's good, then we reassemble we're just going to do the opposite steps the way we took it apart.